Welcome, let's start with the last set of 25 questions for your psychology and indeed the most awaited set. So let's start with the first question here. You have the various concepts and the explanation. You have to match the correct concept with the correct explanation. So you have central executive that helps us to decide what to do next or what not we should do. So you have uh, three as a correct match for the first one. Visual spe spatial sketch pen. So as the na name suggests, so it's basically involving visual skills. So you have video, gra video games, zigzag puzzles. So that would be the correct match. For your episodic buffer, it helps you to solve new problems and plan future activities. And phonological loop helps you to read and do mathematical calculations. So those are the correct matches here. The next question talks about assertion reason. So you have working memory is like a bench, uh, workbench where material is constantly being handled, combined and transformed, that's correct. And both new and old material are retrieved from long term memory and are held in the working memory. That's a correct explanation for this. And uh, so you have assertion and reason both as the correct answers and reason as the correct explanation for assertion here. The next question that talks about Again, uh, re assertion reason question. So you have Galton's anthropometric test uh, of intelligence that was being developed by Galton. So it's basically talking about measuring uh, human physical measurements. So that's anthropometry and that's correct. So assertion is correct. But uh, this Galton method talked about low validity and it was not the psychometric test. So it talked about low validity on cognitive scores. And if it's a general statement that says cogn uh, Psychometric tests were low on reliability and validity, that's incorrect. So reason is incorrect and assertion is correct. Okay. The next question talks about again the assertion reason. So you have the proprioceptive stimuli results from firing of the kinesthetic receptors in the muscles, joints and tendons, that's correct. And a response is conditioned to the stimuli present prior to the ingestion of a primary reinforcer. So that's again correct. So both the statements are independently correct and both the statements are correct here. The next is the interior uh, portion of the hemisphere is associated with valence and the posterior portion of the brain is associated with arousal. So valence and arousal are the correct options here. The next is signal detection method. So under signal detection we talk about sensory process and uh, decision process that's being included and the hit hit and fire uh, case of alarm is the one that you talk under the signal detection. So you have A and B as the correct option here. The next is visual simple reaction time is more than auditory simple reaction time. That's incorrect. Uh, that's correct. Basically, uh, the idea is the visual reaction time is more. Okay, but if it was which is faster than it is auditory. Okay, so since it's talking about reaction time is more, it's more for visual because it involves more of photochemical processes. So getting the point, it's important to understand the reaction time is more. So the response is much faster in the case of auditory system. Okay, not in the case of visual and there is more reaction time in the visual because it involves photochemical processes. So both the statements are correct and reason is a correct explanation for the assertion here. The next question is creative thinking is different from a routine problem solving because it involves fluency, flexibility and originality. So all three of those are part of creative thinking. So you have A, B and C as the answer here. The next is Wishler's type of deviation of 115 IQ corresponds to what percentile? Now under Wishler, he talked about one standard deviation that was 115. So it started with 100 and a gap of 15. So one standard deviation is basically the answer and one standard deviation accounts for 68% of the uh, percentile rank or the 68% value. So you have 68 as the correct answer here. The next is you have to match the terms with the description. So compliance is basically social influence that involves direct request from the others. Social norms talks about social influence wherein individuals change their attitude as they go along with the existing norms. Intense indoctrinizing uh, 
endoctrinization talks about the processes where the members of the extreme group accept a belief that is being propounded in an unquestioned way and conformity is you are trying to uh, explain the rules that indicate how individuals will basically uh, behave in a given situation so that is conformity so those are the correct matches for this question the next is the spatial processes of the location basically is governed by dorsal pathway so it's again the part of two stream hypothesis uh, where pathways and what pathways so again a very important question this was second question from two stream hypothesis so that's the correct answer the next is uh, the question on assertion reason so you have jensen put forward the regression argument in favor of his theory uh, on intelligence in race that's correct children of the parents having very high intelligence will have below average intelligence score since it's will it's a kind of affirmative or a confirmative sentence which is not correct in this case if it was may it could have been considered okay so the reason becomes false and the assertion stands true so you have assertion as true and reason as false the next is you have the goldman's emotional intelligence so under that handling feelings appropriately ability to soothe oneself and ability to shake off rampant anxiety are all characteristics of managing emotion so under goldman you have the different categories and under different categories you have the different points every time you have a question on goldman so uh, emotional iq or emotional intelligence so make the make sure you cover this question very very carefully a second question on dsm 5 so again you have a second set of question that is on dsm 5 so all the three the top three have been included or introduced in dsm 5 road rage behavior was already there so it is not being newly introduced so you have a b and c as the correct option here okay so road rage behavior was basically a part of intermittent explosive disorder that's uh, that's already a part of it okay so first three are the correct options here the next is gulliford zimmerman basically talked about a temperament scale so it is measuring the temperamental adaptability so that's the correct answer here a direct question that was asked the next is mechanistic behavioral analysis is characterized by now mechanistic behavior talks about uh, internal stimuli however cognitive behavior talks about external stimuli or cognitive approach talks about external stimuli so one becomes incorrect again d becomes incorrect because that's basically explaining the cognition so transformation into belief so belief is nowhere talked about in mechanistic view so b and c would be the correct options and a and d would be the incorrect options in this question the next is gulliford factors you had 150 first order 85 second order and 16 third order factors in his modified model for intelligence so this is again important gulliford every time you have a question and this was on the gulliford's modified model of intellect so you need to know both the models along the next question here is you have assertion children have remarkable ability to create mental representation of the world in the form of languages that's totally correct the reason and problem solving are the ways of manipulating the ideas that's again correct but but both of those are independently correct so both the statements are correct so b is the correct answer now uh, coming on to the next question okay so you have the next question that's again assertion reason this talks about forgetting of everyday events in young people is not an indication of poor memory that's correct because ineffective encoding due to failure to attend an event while it's happening also results in failure to remember so both the statement is correct and reason is explaining why what are the reasons other than uh, the basic forgetting Uh, or a poor memory which is the major reason for forgetting so the other reason here is ineffective coding and this is what is being explained in the reason so both the statements are true and reason explains it correctly the next is about the premax principle so the premax principle which is also known as probability differential hypothesis explains that the frequency uh, the frequently occurring Uh, activities can be used to enforce the less probable activity so that's correct however the second statement is the basically the hypothesis given by timberlake that's the reinforcement theory so this is not the prob uh, probability differential hypothesis so reason is incorrect and assertion is correct the next question uh, 
has a passage question now here you have uh, to study the achievement test in physics for the graduate students you have a questionnaire which has five alternatives and you have to mark only one correct so it could be right or wrong what you are marking now of that 100 items are retained or 100 items are taken into consideration applied on thousand subjects and inter item correlation is calculated now after that you have the factors that are coming up and you have the inter item correlation that's taking place now what you are doing is you are extracting the uncorrelated uh, unrotated factors and taking just the first nine of those factors those nine factors are explaining 65 percent sorry 67 percent 67.5 percent of the variance now those factors are rotated and the inter inter factor correlation stands to be zero now when they are rotated and the correlation is zero or they are uncorrelated that means they are orthogonal here and the factor structure of the achievement test was found to be interpretable so that's the sole idea it's a kind of exploratory uh, research that you are trying to do here so the inter item correlation here would be point by serial now how it would be point by serial because you are trying to estimate a relationship between a dichotomous variable and a continuous variable so the continuous variable here would be achievement the dichotomous variable here would be the choice that you are marking in the alternative so it could be correct or incorrect so that's why you have point by serial correlation that would be considered it cannot be by serial because under by serial you are trying to uh, find out a continuous and you are trying to just mark down the variables in high and low based on the continuity so let's say uh, depression or cholesterol you could be con could be considered which is a kind of continuous variable but you are trying to make it uh, a dichotomous variable you are saying it could be high it could be low so therefore it cannot be bi serial so the uh, candle tau is again a kind of non parametric so you have point by serial as a correct answer here the next question is a assertion reason question now for the factor analysis of the item scores you have common factor model which is quite uh, quite often more suitable now what's the basic difference between a common factor model and a principal component analysis in principal component analysis you consider all the variance however you consider the reliable common variance under the common factor model and therefore assertion is incorrect but the reason stands uh, sorry assertion is correct and the reason stands incorrect because we cannot say item scores are less reliable than the psychometric measures so reason is incorrect assertion is correct now since here we have talked about that common factor model is talking about the reliable common uh, factors and it's not considering all the factors since we have we are taking into account only 67.5 percent of the variance that's there the second question is automatically solved here so the second question talks about which is not used so principal component analysis cannot be used so b becomes the incorrect option here so rest of the methods can be used in this study the next question that's being asked here talks about which type of uh, rotation has been used so in the last we said when the factors were rotated the correlation was zero so since the correlation was zero or the factors became uncorrelated we had orthogonal method and which two are orthogonal quartimax and verimax are orthogonal so you have c and d as the correct options here the last question here is about uh, it's about the second order factor analysis of the nine rotated factor is not recommended in the present study why now uh, we have already done the first rotation and we have seen that you have a correlation of zero now since you have a correlation of zero that's already been established or the interfactor correlation is already zero it's not recommended for a set second order factor analysis so you have b as the correct answer so with this we cover all the questions for your psychology nat uh, overall summary is that there were questions from statistics uh, a definitive question from the rotation the variance a uh, confirm question then gulliford which is a kind of specific question that's being asked every time goldman's question this time there were two questions on two stream theory so two streams theory become important you have biopsychology that was very very important so if you have been solving the past papers that were there on the doris tip tutor and the postal course i believe this paper was very very simple for those students wish you a good luck for all those students who are new and are preparing for your upcoming examination we'll be bringing up more lectures for your psychology soon have a great day ahead